and I work as an associate electrical services for Kandal. Uh, my role generally uh, you know, encompasses the design and management of uh, various new build projects, uh, fit out some very unique um, you know, entertainment and industry type of projects also. So I've been very fortunate to work on many different uh, projects. I've always been very interested in, uh, you know, the science-based uh, subjects. So, like, you know, uh, physics, mathematics. That's always been like quite passionate about. So it was a logical, you know, field to get into engineering. So when I was um, choosing my subject to go to university, so I picked. Uh, I actually did electrical and electronic engineering. So it wasn't very specific to building services, but I naturally just came into it. Kandal globally, um, we have around 20% female engineers, which actually, to be honest, is uh, above the benchmark figure, which is around 14% at the moment. Um, one of the things we're actively doing also is, um, you know, employing more uh, graduate. Uh, and what we are seeing at the moment is the graduates that's coming out of university, the percentage is higher. So you have a greater talent pool so it's not that we are you know biasing towards male or female but when you have uh, more graduates coming out so that you know at the moment we are seeing around 40 to 50 percent female graduates which is joining Kandal so that is making you know the gender disparity a bit uh, balancing it a bit more. I think for me it's always been a very positive experience if I have to say it. Uh, I have never, you know, even when I chose um, engineering as a field to go into, I never thought about it's a male dominating area until actually I went to university. I was, uh, you know, one of the six female students out of 126 people. And, um, but, you know, until that time I didn't really, uh, you know, think that's a male dominated field as such. And, you know, for me I feel you know, race, gender, age should not matter in what you actually do. As long as you're good at it, you are going to excel. And that's what I've faced. On a female, um, you know, orientated side, I always feel, you know, in the industry, there's a lot of respect and protectiveness possibly towards females. And it makes it uh, much more easier to, you know, work in a male dominating industry. I have to say, I mean, for me, it has always been a positive experience. I think it's a global thing. I mean, even if I mean I say it as a joke, like you know, if you go to site, I think they calm down a bit. Like you know, if they are, you know, swearing or whatever, they will be, you know, being more respectful. And it's not that I think that female brings more valuable opinion. It's like it's a different opinion. So you get a different perspective. There still possibly is, that's the reason we are talking about this topic still, right? Um, I, but it's a very deep uh, inherent issue because, you know, when from very, uh, you know, young age, childhood, there is a disparity that we are finding between male and female, even when you're going to school, you possibly think like engineering and construction is a more physically and mentally challenging work, which is uh, not suitable for women. You know, you think it's a high vase, high, you know, you have to do laborious work. But what I've found, it's, it's not necessarily the same. It's very creative also. Like, you know, you, you can design uh, a nice building. It's very refreshing to see something that you have created actually getting built that you have designed. So one of the things we are doing in Kandal, I think our HR department actively um, seeking better maternity, paternity leaves, flexible working hours. Um, you know, I think one of the things we find, females, you have graduates, they are coming in to work. However, maybe after five, six years down the line, the family pressures that takes over, so you will have a break. But so we are trying to find more opportunities for people to come back to work. So give like, you know, more uh, flexible working hours, as I said, um, you know, uh, working from home facilities, schooling, so that encourages you to come back to work. At Kandal, you know, we are, we are rolling out uh, inclusion and diversity plan. This is uh, a report that we are actually publishing yearly. So that is, uh, you know, picking out 
uh, where where the disparity is, how we can improve it. So you know the gender disparity, the pay gap, and measures HR is actively seeking to um, eliminate those measures. I have thoroughly enjoyed working, you know, I've been working for 20 years now and I've thoroughly enjoyed working as an engineer in the field. I've never seen it as a male-female, uh, you know, disparity as such. I think for me, if you are good at what you do, you're passionate about uh, your, uh, you know, your subject and you will excel regardless of the gender disparity in this field and I think my uh, advice would be to not think about that at all and you know go with your passion and I mean I can say about myself that you know I have been rewarded so it has hasn't been a barrier as such and this is what my advice would be to the you know young female generation to go for it and it's quite refreshing to see that GCC has that 50% of graduates that coming out which are female and as long as we can offer them you know, better uh, career progress, even with the family life, to balance it, I think it will uh, improve. I mean, for me, I would like to live in a world where this topic would never come up, like women in construction. It should just be engineers in construction. In a way, it's been like, as I said, like there's the respect part, the protectiveness. It is kind of there also. So it's interesting. I actually quite like it. It's challenging. <laughs>